and the paragraph can say like I love tuna so much and this next piece of information can say I love bacon so much and this last piece of information can say I love yo mama so much so this this would say I love tuna I love bacon I love your mama that's what we're creating right here now after this of course we're moving to a new row so we want to add another clear now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add another single column because on the third row we have a single column and a double column but we also did something special with this notice that this is a black box and what I did on my website is whenever I made my prayer private messenger I added a black box on the conversation area because it makes the text a little bit easier to read so let's go ahead and do the easy part first so the first thing we need to do is we need to add a single column and this just says I don't know I'll put I am a single column black box something like that and then we can add the double column so column two and guys this is an easy way to um make sure that your layout is right in between every clear make sure that the column total equals three so this equals three one plus one plus one equals three one plus two equals three you always want three because this is a three column layout simple enough so okay for the one we put I'm a column black box and for this says I am outside the black box but on the same row wow did I actually spell everything right I actually accidentally spelled everything right all right now for the black box how do we set that because if we ran it right now it wouldn't have any black box and guys so glad you asked this is actually incredibly easy go ahead and set the class equal to black box now what this is going to do is it's going to give you not only a black background that is slightly darker but it's going to make um, the border around it slightly curved and it gives you a really nice futuristic look and also this isn't it looks oh excuse me I got the hiccups it looks completely black on the computer screen but in real life you can see that it's kind of transparent so you can still see through it get a really nice sweet look so now we created this row we're done with it we only have two more rows to go this which we already know how to create in this image row so again since we're done with this row let's go ahead and clear it to tell our browser hey we are working with a new row now we can just go ahead and add another heading and what did this heading say um, my profile alright so this would say my profile and now let's go ahead and clear that you guys are probably getting the hang of this by now so clear that and the last thing that we want to do is we want to add another three column layout I'll show you guys what we're creating right now now first of all we're creating a three column layout but we want to do it a little bit differently even though this only looks like one column let me see if I can even though this only looks like one column this is actually a three column layout if I add in more text so I'm gonna show you guys how to add this picture and also this text right here all in a single um, row basically so the first thing that we want to do is we want to put everything in a paragraph because this gives it the proper padding and kind of the housekeeping stuff that we need so even though we're adding an image and also some links to your profile um, this is how you do that so the first thing you want to do is you want to add the image that's going to be floating left now I don't know if I uh, give you guys that image you can use any image from the computer image source equals again you can put this um, you know a path to your local or you know just find an image off the computer off Google anywhere now the class for this image is actually going to be two classes image left and that's going to make it float left and anytime you an want to add multiple classes you don't add two class tags you just go ahead and write the class with a space in between and then you write white border 
So again, this image has two classes applied to it. Image left, which makes it float left, and white border, which gives it that white cool looking border around the image. And if you don't have this, the image looks kind of weird because it's a dark image and it blends into a kind of dark background. And when you add that white border, it makes it stand out and it makes it, you know, um, well, just stand out is probably the best word. So after we added that image, remember, what we want to do is we want to make sure that the links we add display to the side of it instead of underneath it. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing we want to do is, of course, add links. So a style. Actually, let me go ahead and finish writing my link. So this, of course, would be a link to either my profile or, you know, um, an article maybe. So if it's a link to your profile, then you can just write your name and that'll link to your profile. Or if it's a link to an article, you can just write a href and then it would say something like read, uh, you know, more, I don't know, something like that. But anyways, the style for this first one is going to be display let me make sure that you guys are seeing this properly. Display font weight. What do I got? Freaking sausage fingers today? Font weight bold and also the color equals white. So that's actually display inline. That's what you want because you don't want this one to be a block level element. You want it to be inline since you're floating the image to the left. Now again, what this does is it creates this right here, which would actually be a link um, if I gave it an href, but you know, you can just add that right now. Now, again, this would like link to your profile or something, and this would link to an article, but for right now, I'm just showing you guys how to do the basics. You can make it link to whatever you want, but that is how you create this section where you have an image that's floating to the left, and you also have two links and you can actually also make this image a link that might be better for the user so you can either have them click you know this this or this but anyways we're getting kind of off track here because what we're focusing on is the entire layout and that is how you create a three column layout and again one last time and this is like if you only remember one thing <coughs> one thing from these HTML section of this tutorial remember this Whenever you make a three column layout, every single one of your rows has to add up to three. So this is three, three equals three, one plus one plus one equals three, one plus two equals three, and three equals three, three equals three. Simple enough. So now what I'm going to do in the next video is I'm going to Actually, I'm not even going to show you guys how to create this two column layout because it's incredibly easy. You make a two column layout and everything has to add up to two, either two equals two or one plus one equals two. Simple enough. In the next tutorial, what I want to do is I want to go over this programs menu because it's actually a lot different as well as these notification icons and the logout button. And once we finish this, you guys are going to be pros and know how to create the coolest footer ever designed. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.